Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Attack on Titan in Minecraft. And as you can see, I am finishing up on the gate for Trust. Now we're on the back side of the district. Um, I thought it'd be a little easier to make it over here. Because um, it's nice and flat. But this is what I got so far. Um, it's, looking, it's looking pretty good, I'd say, you know. Um, I'm not really sure what to do in here. You know, um, I got some stairs that kind of go up the little stories here but um it would be nice to have like a full kind of interior to all this but i'm not really sure what i should do i don't know if i want to um you know kind of hollow out the wall a little bit and like connect these two sides or if i just want to leave them kind of separate um up here though i do have it hollowed out so it's all one big room uh, both sides are done so it's looking pretty good. Um, as you can probably tell, I have a different texture pack running, um, and that is because I'm trying to fully switch over to 1.17. Um, so right now we're on 1.17, um, and I did that because I needed these stairs. Like I needed all these different block types that they just added, and so far it's working okay. Um, I got most of my mods over. I've got World Edit. I've got the Replay mod as well. So hopefully that'll make uh, building videos a little cooler looking with that. Um, now the only problem that I have right now trying to work on this in 1.17, uh, MC Edit does not work because of new blocks. Like literally just these stairs and these deep slate blocks that I added. <clears throat> now I cannot I cannot do this in MC Edit, so that's kind of an issue right now. Um now there is ways in World Edit to copy and paste things and make schematics even, but it's a lot more difficult to implement that than it is just using MC Edit. So I'm not really sure what to do about that supposedly they're supposed to make like an update but I don't think they've worked on MC edit in like three years so I'm not really hoping for that I already have the the district itself saved as a schematic um, without the gate and then I'll be saving the gate as a separate schematic so that I can use that separately um, so right now I just need to get this gate um, over at the front of the district so that's a bit of an issue right now. Again, MC Edit was uh, a pretty useful program. I mean, that's how I made the entire forest of giant trees. Um, they made that a lot easier. And it certainly ma makes these districts a lot easier, too, using MC Edit. But yeah, tell me what you think. Um, tell me what, what you think I should do, if anything, um, with the interior, that is. Um, should I make it go all the way through? Should I kind of, like, hollow this out? to the other side um, or should I leave it like that I'm not exactly too sure alright so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to copy and paste this to the other side of the district um, instead of using MC edit I'm gonna try to use world edit so what we gotta do here is basically just select the two corners so I think that will be a perfect spot to start um, I'm not really sure how pasting works in world edit like um, if it pastes it based off of the first um, block you select and do paste and see if that works oh Jesus Christ yeah see that's uh, okay now I know <laughs> now I know all right we'll undo that um, I'm gonna make this little okay so it, it looks like it went off of the second coordinate block that I used so what I'm gonna do I'm going to go back, I'm going to recopy it, except I'm going to go from the top corner, and then the second corner will be the one at the bottom. And go here, and look at it, maybe. Paste. Um, let's see, is that correct? Yeah, I think this is fully correct. Alright. Alright, one last little thing for this video here. I'm going to try to add in another district um, with world edit instead of MC edit so here we are at the very western side of wall rose colva or something I, I'm not sure what this name is but we're at the total west side here um, we already have the small district in here from from when I from when I did that a long time ago so I'm just gonna take a shot in the dark here um, we're gonna go 
uh, schem list. So yeah, we got two schematics here. Um, the district one was saved using MC Edit. I just kind of put it in the folder. That should work, right? Okay, it's loading it. Oh Jesus! All right, it's loaded, and I have no idea what orientation or where it's going to be placed from. So I guess I'll just have to figure that out. Um, first, though, I will do rotate, and then the first coordinate is just the y-axis. I think that's the one I need. So if we just turn it like 90 degrees, rotate 90. Okay, so it's been rotated. Um, I'll just place it here because again, I don't know. I don't know how this thing is going to actually. It's probably going to crash my computer. Oh boy. Okay. I guess I should have um, stayed exactly where I was because now. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. Hold on. So what we got here? Okay. I might be able to figure this out. So that is the exact orientation that we need. And it looks like it's being placed from this corner. So what does that mean? Did I seriously just almost guess that? Like I was I was about to do some calculations here, like some serious <laughs> number crunching. It's literally perfectly lined up. Like it's perfectly lined up. Um and I literally just guessed that. There's there's 23 blocks there and there's 22 blocks here. And that's actually that's that's how it is. Um it's a little bit it's like one block off but that's how it is um normally anyway so no literally i just like flew over here um i placed a block where i was spawning it in so i could actually tell exactly where i was and i just flew over here i was like oh that seems about right and i just fucking spawned it in and i need to go back like quite a few like 10 i need to go back 13 blocks this way but that is literally perfectly centered. I can't even believe that I just did that. So, okay, well, what, what coordinate is this? Oh, okay, I got reverted. Okay, and then there's actually, that's exactly where there's a little difference there. So, actually, I think that brings it back up to 12 blocks. Oh, well, here we go. Let's see if a miracle happens. And if this works out correctly, um, I hopefully shouldn't even have to delete the old district because it pastes in all the air blocks as well unless unless you specify. So yeah, look at that. It pasted in and nothing over here changed. That is exactly what we want. I can't believe I guessed that. Seriously, I did not do any calculations whatsoever. I was just like, all right, you know what? It, I, I don't feel like going all the way over <laughs> to the other side. It's in. Okay, yeah. No, okay, so that's the old wall right there. It's all deleted, it's all gone, and this district is placed in perfectly. What the heck? Let me just let me just fix this real quick. Okay, is this gonna work? Ooh! Okay, that was a little base boosted. Um Oh oops. That that's what the, the ID was in the older versions of my in like one point eleven point two. Which is what I'm used to working with here. Um, all the block IDs are a little changed. They're actually, they make a lot more sense now, but... Oh, Jesus. Okay, that that's just so much laggier than it needed to be. What is... Am I looking into the damn Matrix right now? Is that, is that what this is? I'm looking into the Minecraft Matrix. And seeing how all the grass blocks get formed from from nanoparticles. But look at that. We got one more district here. I guess it might not be quite as bad um, doing this in world edit. But that was seriously just a lucky try. Like, I think that'll about wrap it up for this episode. Um, I'll probably kind of slowly continue to put these districts where they need to be. Um, but the main thing right now is figuring out Trost District. So yeah, the main focus right now will be building Trost District. Um, oh my god, everything just wants to bamboozle me. I want to get the layout pretty much, like, fully started, um, hopefully next episode. 
Um, but who knows? I might just be tweaking other things or finishing up uh, some of the stuff with the walls. But um, starting Tross is going to be quite a large venture here. Um, I don't really know how I'm going to tackle this right now. I mean, just look at that. Like, this is on 16 render distance. And I, I mean, it's just massive. Like, I, I think, I think we can make trust in here. I think, I think I can make trust fit, or at least you know, do my best. So that'll be what to look forward to pretty soon, hopefully. And of course, some more Valheim. I'm just about to be fighting. Well, not fighting, but going into the swamp to try to find the third boss. And so that's going to be pretty interesting as well. So just look out for all that. And anyways, hope you all enjoy, and I'll see you next time.